Thank you so much, Pastor Ashley. It is a joy to be invited uh, to be with you today on this amazing and wonderful occasion. As Ashley mentioned, I have had the privilege over the last nearly four years to serve as the executive, transitional executive presbyter, it's kind of a mouthful, uh, for North Central California Presbytery. Say it three times really quickly. Um, and as noted, that was the coming together of the former Stockton and Sacramento uh, congregations, now making up one unified body of churches stretching from as south, far south as Turlock all the way up to Red Bluff, um, a large geographic area of about 40-some churches and new worshiping communities that, like you, are seeking to be salt and light in their communities, seeking to be love and service to those in the community, and finding even in these challenging times, reasons to celebrate. And so it is a joy to gather, knowing that over the last few years, churches and pastors and leaders have often been very stretched by the demands placed upon all of us as we move through COVID, as we move through times of civil unrest and um, great upheaval, really, in the world. And yet here we are today, recognizing that just like all of you, there have been people moving through this space for 100 years. For 100 years seeking to be the body of Christ in the varied seasons that come and go and the decades that came and went through times of war and times of, of economic depression, times of growth, times of, indeed, laughter and tears. People have come and gone. And yet here in this place today, we do recall those who helped make this, this space possible. And though it is a truly magnificent sanctuary, a truly beautiful building, it is those people moving in and out of this place that have been the pulse point of First Presbyterian Church of Stockton. It is the women and men, the siblings and friends, those who served, who loved, who have cared, who have tended this building and tended each other with extraordinary care and grace. And so today we gather knowing that the God of all times is the God who is present with you today. That same spirit blew through the hearts and imagination of those more than 100 years ago who envisioned a church in this city, still a fairly young city at the time. And yet they knew that the Holy One, God who is creator, redeemer, and sustainer, would move through this congregation and out into this city. And that has happened over 100 years. And so as we gather here today, we celebrate that past, the many folks who have come and gone, but also it is a moment of rededication, perhaps, a moment to indeed sit in this space and place ourselves once again in the immense hands of love, our God, and know that this is a celebration both of what has been and an affirmation of what is yet to come. For God is doing a new thing in the church. And even though sometimes we are able to tick off all the things that we've lost, members that aren't here, children that are not filling our Sunday school classrooms, all the ways that we are sometimes stretched as the church to cover all the needs of our congregations and our communities. But sitting in the presence of the Spirit, we are reminded that the best times of the church are not in the past. For truly, our God is on the move, coaxing up the what is yet maybe not even in our hearts and minds imagination, but stirring us to be the people of God in this time and place. And so as the Transitional Executive Presbyter, it is a joy to come and greet you on behalf of the many other churches with whom you share in ministry and to encourage you, even as those who have worked throughout the decades and generations, to continue to be open to the still speaking God who yet calls you to new things through which you will come to experience 
even more cause for celebration. Thanks be to God.